I'm gonna be honest.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome once again to another D Grey community server stream. Let's get logged into the server and see how things are going. Looks like we've got a few people on again, which is fantastic news. Consistently got three or four people on, and you can't go wrong. I'm just going to hop into Discord chat so I can chat to those guys at the same time. Good evening, chaps. Right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Even my, our logins got bigger now. Holy smokes, you guys have been busy. This seems a surprise to me when I log in now every time. <laughs> this was literally this square here when I logged out last night. And now we have all of this. Okay, let's have a sneak peek at the map view. Nice. Very nice. Can certainly see why we had to turn the biters off, looking at that pollution cloud. We seem to have a bit of an issue of pollution going that way. There's absolutely no way no way we'd survive building this quick and this this big with biters. That's never never gonna happen. So uh, also quick tip for anybody who doesn't know this because I learnt this last night on stream on the map you can actually set the recipe icon so rather than going around and sticking an icon for every single thing you can see you can actually stick a, there's a little tip if you press F4 search for map and then turn on show recipe icons on map see if you happen to put ah good evening how are we doing hi can you hear me I can indeed Okay. How's it I going? I will not be playing, but yeah, fine. Uh, but I will be watching the stream when I can. Ah, cool. Good stuff. Oh. I'm uh, just attempting to decipher what's happened since uh, yesterday's stream, because it looks like a lot has happened. Let's see. The country, yeah. We have green science, and we're also automating the circuit points. Ah, cool. Good evening, Kev. How you doing? Whoa, that's a uh, nice uh, going, yeah. doing all right I finally got my uh, basic my electronics project. is researching basic electronics <laughs> does that let us do the can we now automate simple there is a very big delay uh, with the sound on the twitch stream it could be a little bit behind depending on how fast it's running it seems to be running mm, okay ish to be fair, you'll be hearing, because I'm in Discord, you'll be hearing Discord way ahead of the stream, to be fair. Ah, uh, okay. So if you want to listen listen live, listen on Discord, if you want to chat live on Discord, if you just want to chill out, then just look at the stream. <laughs> right, so are we making those... Can we still not make basic, simple circuit boards yet? Oh, they're, they're being made. The uh, basic uh, electronics is for the complex circuit boards, actually. Ah, okay. Where? Oh, I don't know the recipe for those is now. I'm sure it was in here somewhere. There it is. Simple, yeah, simple circuit boards go into... S oh, there's two different ways of making them. Okay, fair enough. Get those out of the inventory. Get that out of the inventory. Is there a build list tonight? Oh, there is a little bit of a build list. Oh, have you researched and built those weird looking monster things that look like Blanca from Street Fighter? What they called? I think you were calling oh, them yes, turtles. Oh, yes. The, the, the <laughs> Ogs? Yes, yes, we have. Are they. Where are they hiding? I want to have a look at those. They look really cool. Aha, there they are. Creature chamber. That just sounds really ominous. So what do they do then? What do these orgs do? Uh, so we grind up their bones for science, <laughs> and we also collect their shit. <laughs> I'm glad I asked. <laughs> uh. <laughs> e Grey was uh, getting that researched uh, today. Hey, Chase. 
He needed the uh, the poop of the animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's such a brilliant recipe. <laughs> oh dear. That has made me chuckle. Right, let's see if I can. Let's have a little bit of a look at what's going on because I'm still completely lost now as to where I am. So. Let's see if I can find green science on the map. I know red science was down here somewhere. There's red science, okay. So there's red science. Oh god, yeah, red. Oh wow, red science is more than enough. Yeah, Kaina's done a lot of work on red science. Got He's, all that automated that beautiful. last night. Oh wow, they look cool. The moon drop greenhouse. That is a beautiful looking building. That is really cool. Place to grow moon drops in the The imagination place. those people had to make this. <laughs> yes, oh. indeed. A data array. Download DNA codes from the Earth's data banks way faster than Wi Fi. It's sci fi. Ha <laughs> ha nice. Pran Prandium Lab. Oh, there's some things on here that I just don't even know what. I wouldn't even guess at what they do, but. Are we gonna make mice? I think mice are a little ways out though. Mice? <laughs> what are these? Oh my god, there's little animals in this one. Place with constant vigilance to avoid these smart cotton guts to escape. <laughs> there's little critters running around inside it. That is mad. I'm gonna go over here, washers. I think that's part of the. Uh, by an Odin's alien life, uh, yeah, it must definitely be add on. Yeah, uh, the cotton guts are like little mice that you can use to increase the productivity of uh, making science and what. <laughs> Do they effectively run in the wheel to make them go faster? Is that the gist? <laughs> I mean, I guess whatever, whatever floats your boat. I mean, there's more gruesome ways of thinking about it. But yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's a, a creature chamber. Okay. Incubators. Wow. There's just there's so much going on right now. I mean, this this map is just phenomenal. I thought it was ridiculous even yesterday. It's even bigger now. I see Kyan is on as well, building down the bottom. What are these? Oh, look, there they are. The big, okay, yeah, they do kind of look like big turtles, don't they? Yeah. Wow, the amount of effort they put in to animate some of these things is just gone above and beyond there, I think. That's cool, they're munching on the plant in the middle. <laughs> See, so Kayam is or was building. It's alive. Yeah, <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein's monster. Let's see, where's Arkham? What's he building tonight? He was building a lot of good stuff yesterday. Just got to find him on the map. Ah, there he is. <clears throat> Research centers. Okay, he's right by the red science at the minute. Okay, green science. That's what I'm going to try and find. See how that's looking then. Green science. It's going to be a little different, difficult. Uh, green is down by red, but everything is like screwing throughout the wall. Ah, okay. So there's red science. Oh, I see. No, it's okay. I'm looking for a green beaker. Of course, it's not. It's that weird looking rubber type. Key card almost. Yes, yeah, so we've got two, two outputting uh, logistic signs then. Okay. It's very slow going by looking for the logistic signs then. that on here. Let's see if we can see what that recipe actually has. Don't even know where it is.
No, you need to go where the red sign is. It's in the... No. <laughs> it's the... I thought it was somewhere around here. Yeah, left, 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 below. Which one's it under? Down the, 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 yeah, and now to the left. You know what, I'll just do it this way. <laughs> to the left. There it is, logistics. I've seen this one, so oh. it's in under here. Ah, there they are, they're moved, they're over this side now. So, poor alien samples and laboratory instruments, which needs all that stuff underneath. Wow. So three, six, seven, fourteen ingredients to make all of that up. And nice. that's the second uh, science. And actually, yeah, that's just the make. second tier. Wow, that is insane. I can't imagine what will be uh, for the sixth uh, one. <laughs> handcraft some more of those simple circuit boards so where are we making simple circuit boards then are they because I, I can't see them anywhere check the logistic uh, stash they should be in there I think oh. right there ah okay They're kind of piecemeal but Okay, that's cool. All oh, right, I see. Yes, yeah, so I have to make them in those instead. Chip shooter machines, nice. Oh wow, D Grace just done edit in today's stream. It will take five hours to render. Cool, that sounds like an overnight job. That does. I don't envy you having to edit those streams, D Grey, at all into videos. <laughs> it's, it's hard enough streaming it for a few hours, let alone having to edit it into sort of piecemeal chunks as well. Yeah, and he was streaming for about five hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a good old stream today. I kept jumping in and out when I had the chance. Okay, so it looks like there's a Go just by. A what yes. kind of headset do you have? Me, I've got a oh, what's it called? It's got an, a Platronics, Platronics rig type headset. Okay. It's got like a little um, I don't know what you call it, like a little dial thing next to it, so I can I can plug my phone in if need be, and it does all the the volume, and I can mute it quite quickly as well if need be. It's not not the best, right. but it's not the worst. I'm hoping it's um, it's my birthday end of the month. I'm hoping to get a bit of cash for that and invest in a better microphone, to be honest. Because that'd be nice. Are these actually working. I'm trying to work out if these are working. There's something. I'm going to come down here and have a look at this. Oh, come across here even. This isn't getting any. So what's it missing? Vacuum. Why is that not working now? What's no, it is working. It's just not. Huh. The vacuum's full. Oh wait, it's not. The vacuum's not going into the um, electronics factory. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. That one, if you could figure out how to connect it. <laughs> the challenge for the evening. <laughs> okay, so what does it have coming in? So oh, oh it only needs. Could you not? Mm, no, that's output into that, isn't it? So you need. One needs to be turned, and then. Yeah. Okay, no, I can see Chase is going to do exactly what I was just thinking. He's in my head already. Can you move the power pole? Will it work if you move the power pole over? Yeah. Well, I mean, worst case, move one of the storage chests and put it in there, but it should work if. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Chase has got it. He's just doing exactly what I was thinking. 
Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's exactly what I was thinking. There's a run. There you go. Yeah, we fixed it. Woohoo! Teamwork! <laughs> to be fair, I just supervised, but that's fine. <laughs> Right, so that should now make. Oh, can't get through. There's yeah. supposed to be five of these vacuum tubes in. I think so, because I think all of these need vacuums, didn't they, by the look of it? Just the valves, yeah. Right, so what's this waiting for? This is waiting for. Printed circuit substrate. Where's that coming from? Down, 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 down. Oh, uh. is it in the same place? The circuit substrates are down by kind. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, there, here they are. Ah, so I think he might need help here. He's, he seems to have stopped. And uh, we're not getting anything out into the network, so he's missing something. Okay, I'm going to attempt to go down there and see what's going on. Um, with the org paddocks, shouldn't it be a passive... I mean, an uh, active provider chest instead of a passive one? Because it's just filling up with the barrel. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's something that we need to do. Oh, something that we figured out is the barrel thing. I'll do it now. <laughs> god, how far have I got to run here? Oh my god. Definitely got to get exoskeleton legs or something for this. My word. Well, when we get trained, we just put a train path between everything. <laughs> That's just true. get trains just for packs, yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> just to get around the map. Yeah. I'm about halfway there running, my word. Oh, there's still stuff we haven't even touched yet. Here we go, right, I'm down. I'm down at Cayenne's area, so hopefully I can fix whatever's missing. Let's see. His vacuums are going. He's missing Formica, or Formica, depending on how you pronounce it. That is requesting that. So now I've got to find that on the map. Why is he making that? Formica's right next to you. The, the ah, yes, it is. Okay. So. Right. Oh, it is coming. It's just. Oh, it's very slow. Oh, one around lagging. Excellent. Come on, stream, catch up with me. Just give it a minute, it'll catch up. Beer interlude, I think. Well, that's just having a bit of a moment. Does this some nights? Goes completely crazy uh, for a couple of minutes. Are you going to survive? I think so. Uh, where's the printed circuit substrate being made? Uh, next to me. But it's next missing. To, uh, Kine and how did you say your name was? Kobai. Kobe. My name. Kobai. Oh, I think mine's finally settling down. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's just having a right old moment tonight. Oh yeah, I've been dropped. Of course I have. Don't know why it does that.
Hmm. The sink is happening. You guys still hear me? I think I'm reconnecting, so hopefully it's... Uh, yeah, the stream is playing up somewhat crying. I don't know what's going on with the connection at the minute. It's gone terrible. <clears throat> Apologies if you're watching in pixel view right now. Right. I think it's had its wobble. I think it's good. Yeah, the bitrate seems to have settled and I can walk again. Fantastic. I'm hoping you guys can still hear me. I can still ah, hear you. Good, good, that's right then. I thought Discord had chucked me off as well, but that should be alright. But the stream is... Uh... Yeah, it should it should catch up in a second. It, the bitrate just went to nothing. It just completely died, my connection to Twitch for some reason. It seems to have settled down now. Check it myself to make sure it's uh, looking okay from my end. It seems to be okay, but you never know. Looking okay from my end. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's, it seems to be back to normal. So annoying when it does that. Didn't do it at all last night, and yet tonight having a wobble. Right, so I was looking at this. It's yeah, four four mica. So it's got fiber board, Mel melamine resin. That's what it's waiting for. Okay. Now I've got to find that. <laughs> right. Oh, that's the fiber board there. Okay. Aha! There it is. It's, it's right next to us. It's all in, located in this area, which is good. Right. Melamine resin. So that just needs what's that missing? Okay, I think it, I think it's going. It just doesn't seem to be particularly quick. Mel melamine, that's what it's missing. Okay. So now I've got to find where that's coming from, which is below it, okay. <laughs> this is like a treasure hunt. Just like working my way back through the production queue to see what's going on. Right. I'm just waiting for you to get to the end and realize exactly what we... <laughs> it's like, just let him do it. Let him learn. He's got to go the long way. <laughs> So I mean, it's the answer that everyone wants to hear. Cyanic acid is what's holding that up. So that is being made here. And that's being held up by urea. Okay. And urea is being made... <laughs> oh, God. Right, this is this way somewhere, I think. Where's urea? I've got to find that now. Ah, urea. Is that urea down there? Is that your ear? I can't tell. Nope, that's to it different entirely. Okay, where's your ear? Is that it? Ah, is that... That's it there, I think. Okay, so it's up this way. Oh my goodness. You don't realise how big a production chain is until you start having to, like, troubleshoot it from start to finish. So this is your ear. That's looking for liquid manure. Ah, okay, so that's what comes from the animals, I guess. So there's your Where's uh, ammonia being produced? Liquid manure is here. So that's manure and water in, so we're just waiting for manure. Which obviously comes from those animals that we have. And we're missing manure because... Which is up here, okay, which is these creatures, so I'm going to come to these creature areas. So 
so we have a creature chamber that outputs the orgs so now I've got to figure out where the, where do the orgs get keep get kept then they get made in a creature chamber but they go and live in they're large and blue a what sorry uh, they're large and blue they're they're like right to the left of the creature chamber not the borrows. nurseries. Nope, I don't know where they go. I found the creature chambers, so I know the creature chambers is what's making the things that make the manure. But I can't see where they go to live. Oh, location, here we go. Ah, oh, those things again. Right, the paddock. Right, so that's... Okay, let's go up to the paddock. Where is that from where I am? Oh, you know what, I'll just do it by map view because it's a long walk. So that... Okay, that's waiting for whatever that is. What is that? Oh, it's off this, okay. So it's up by the moor where I was. <laughs> so I've gone full circle, I think, haven't I? Where are those? Looks like a cereal box, but I don't know what to call it. The red or orange package that looks yeah. like dog food. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like a box of cereal or dog food or something. Ah, there it is. Org food. <laughs> there you go. It's dog food. Yeah. So that is being made. Must be nearby. Ah, there it is. Okay, so that's in the mall. So that's... Where does that output? Into there. So that's missing whatever these inputs are. Okay, so yeah, so that is going slow. It's one of those things that's a very slow burn. M weird mushroom things. Okay, now I've got to find weird mushroom things. Aha, they're over here. A f <laughs> How do you pronounce that? A fawo guy. I think fawgy is how everyone pronounces it. Fawgy. Okay. So that's producing a load of those. So is that the missing ingredient? Everything else looks like it's there, ready for it, apart from a few... I think so. I think that's the I think problem. That's, I think that's the key, isn't it? Once, once they're up and running, that should start providing things a bit quicker. Well, that was a bit of a mission. <laughs> Come back up to the mall now. Actually, no. Let's see. I'm just going to help Kyan out build down here. So I think he's AFK. So I help put in some of his blueprint while I'm down here. Just try and be useful. And these production chains are just absolutely mind-bending. Hey. Okay, what's he missing over here? Can 
can actually produce, can you actually make those things? Uh, can you make orcs? Like by hand? Or is that asking too much? You can uncage them by hand. <laughs> okay, it's a fuel category. Fair enough. Oh wow, just even more research than amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try and make some buildings then, because I seem to be able to do buildings. Let's make two of those, that clears that. Four weird alien buildings, okay. Where on earth are they? Come out, come out, weird aliens, where are you? What does it look like? It's like a weird banner with an alien on it. Where does that one hide? me. <clears throat> Where are you looking for? The one in the build queue with the, there's four of them required, it looks like a banner with a weird alien on it. Come again? If you look in the alerts for the build queue of what's missing, it's like a, a banner with an alien on it. Ah, oh, that would be a creature chamber. Ah, okay. Aha, there it is. Ah, it's in alien life. I can't see it for looking. Ah, oh, there they are, right in front of me. Goodness me. What are we making in the creature chamber is the real question. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see where they're acquired. I think it's orgs. Yeah, I think it's some more of these orgs. need to figure out how to get the bits that I need for it now. Um, I wouldn't... we don't need any more odds. No? No, they're being bred, so we, that way it's just gonna waste resources and whatnot. Okay, um, that's fine. I'll do the Where fastest. Is it just In just the odd right? pins. Get some of these, these bits guys, these three. Is this where they're being bred? Yeah. Ah. Uh, they're promptly being slaughtered, so you might have to. I might turn that off. You don't need more <laughs> oh, yeah, look, there's like a Varax next to it as well. God, they're weird looking things, aren't they? Well, they even got weird noises. Ooh. It's gonna be the odd scream. Okay, let's help clear some of this stuff from the queue. So we need all of those. We need these to come out. I can't do those yet. Oh, I should have cleared a couple of bits out of the build queue, and I. One of those. At least I can. At least I can help by clearing the stuff that's needed in the old um, alert queue, because I know it's helpful somewhere. Because there's a lot going on still. <laughs> oh wait, is. Uh... 
Does anyone need Augs? I guess I should ask. Cause I just looked at my inventory and I have like a hundred fifty. Yes, them. I think Kyan needs some down here for the paddocks he's built. He's only got a couple in the first one. He's got two others that are empty. So I guess he wants four. Just request them, and those they should be delivered. See, oh, he's got. But he's requesting. Uh, he's requesting caged ones, by the look of it. Uh, don't. So I have uncaged ones. So there's uncaged ones floating in the system now. So if I change the request on those to just be uncaged ones, will they they'll still go in? So uncaged ones act as modules, and then caged ones you can put in slaughterhouse. Ah, okay. Oh, there we go. It's, it's actually done it off your yeah. The bots just brought brought them all down. Excellent. Yep, that's worked. That's that's cleared some of them already. Excellent. Okay, this is good news. Five more inserters. I can build those. I can be useful. Oh no, I can't. I can build one. <laughs> Best laid plans. Build one of those. Those. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to assume this is going to. Oh, is he not? Okay, I think I just need to do that and that and that and that. Fingers crossed. They're going to deliver it. Oh, on the way. Okay. I might have done that. Excellent. Oh, here we go. So, waiting for moss and org food down here. Moss should be alright, shouldn't it? We should have plenty of moss unless it's all Let's see, Reed, where's the moss factories? Is this ah? Is that moss? Hang on. Oh, what was the? What is it to do a location again? Control Alt click. Ah, is that moss there? And if so, has it stopped? Looks like carbon dioxide might be a problem. Yeah, that is the moss, isn't it? I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Good. And it's the same problem with everything else. We need active providers and one. The chest out or the barrel output instead of provider. Ah, yes, it's just passive on the output. For, okay, I can fix that. I can fix that. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> can you do it by? I suppose you could do it by robots, couldn't you? Actually. You sure it's an upgrade channel? Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yes. you have to delete it and then place another one down. Yeah. Can you not just say go from iron chest to passive chest? Not passive chest, active chest. Hmm. Nope. Yep. Yeah. That's annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's, uh. Do that. And do that. It's gonna be the same here. Oh, 
That's oh, it's passive to active. Mm. Good spot, D Gray. Getting my wires crossed. Ah. Passive provider can go to active provider. Ah, oh, someone beat me to that one. <laughs> Right, so they should. There we go. There's one going. Yes, Moss is going. So, but there we go. Sorted. One, two are going, and then the third one should hopefully go in a sec. Is that him? That looks like it could be him. Nope. That one. Come on, robots, where are you? Do your job. Well, two of them are working, which has got several plants online now, so moss shouldn't be as much of a problem. It's like, oh, that's my work done for the night, you know? <sighs> okay, so that solves my moss problem. And then it's just a case of org food, which I guess obviously is just an ongoing problem whilst we're um, waiting for it to catch up. There's the mushroom stuff, there we go. Yeah, there we go. I think it, moss was the issue to hold up the food as well, by the look of it. If that's the symbol for moss, then that was the problem. Yep. Yep, food is going again. Excellent. What is that? I've lost Moss again. There we go. Do we not have any? Ah, oh, we don't have any active provider chests in the system. That's why. There we go, let's fix that problem. There we go. Okay, that's all good. What else was missing then? Let's have a look. Uh, inserters, can I make those again? Nope. Jurillium? Ju Jurillium? Jurillium. Let's just search for it. Tell you what, I've never used search in Factorio as much as I have playing this. Are you saying Duralim? Yeah, Duralim. <laughs> so I've got some on the way is 20k in logistics. I've just added it to my logistic request now. Make it easier on myself. I can build some fast inserters then that way. 
don't know why they're not building them more. They must be still be missing. What we're missing? Circuit boards, maybe? Yep, yeah, circuit boards. So they're still not coming out of here very fast. I don't think they're. It's one of those things, it's not, not the fastest thing in the world, but it is going. And we are making the. Is it advanced ones? Simple. Oh, simple circuit boards, yeah, there we go. They are, they are going. It's just not as quick as you might like. Not quick enough to f power an entire mall, anyway, with the size of the mall. Right, can I build chip shooter machines? Chip. Twenty of whatever they are. That's enough. Oh no, they're print printed circuit substrate. Okay, that's there. Ah, that's what's being made there. Okay, right. I'll follow it now. I think. That's what these are making. Yeah. Too quick for me. Let's have them pinch them. Poor alien samples. Hmm. That's a very good question. Ah, in the mall, are they not? Is that them there? Yep, should be in the mall. I think that's them. Yes, indeed. I found something for once. Excellent. As a first. Okay, so I can't build chip shooters because I haven't got these substrate things. But okay. Oops. Look at, oh, it's going again. I'm bleeding connections. Having a right old field day tonight. Oh, it seems to be steady again. I need better internet, definitely. Sucks where I used to live. I had fibre connection. It was fantastic. No connection interruptions. Up and down speed maximum all day, every day. Now I'm on half of it, relying on the old copper network of the UK. It's ridiculous. It still works, but... But I wouldn't give for fibre optics again. Can I not? Hang, I guess I can't handcraft that. That's the problem. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got six PCB factories, but we just can't keep up at the minute. Okay, let's put my helpful fast inserters into the network.
I don't think I'm going to try and create these um, chip shooter machines, but I don't think it's going to help at the minute, given that we can't supply the ones we've got. I'm better off just handcrafting a load of these simple circuit boards and helping feed it that way. I'll turn myself into a circuit board factory again. <clears throat> Try and get some of them all up and running a bit quicker. At least that way you guys can get access to the stuff you need quicker. Research is going well. Such a long walk. Right, is there anything I can build outside of the mall that would be helpful <clears throat> at this stage? You could just expand all of the electronics making and whatnot. Yeah. I'll try and get these chip shooting machines built, but I think it's just going to need more behind it to keep up at the minute. I think building those um, mushrooms hasn't hasn't alleviated the problem yet. Okay, that's uh, is that hooked up? Yeah, that's hooked up, isn't it? Yeah. Styrene. Nice. See you, great. Sleep well. You're going to need it for the pylons uh, messing with your head. in there that should help get fast inserters back in out with the course fraction in with the gravel great <laughs> Are good robo ports are a little bit lacking, but otherwise, okay. Everything else is looking good. Yeah, I'm just gonna handcraft a few bits in the mall just to try and keep that going, then, because there's obviously a few bits we still need. That's at least another 40, that's good, that'll fill that up. Robo ports need a bit of help. Is the power looking nowadays? Oh my goodness, that power's gone up since yesterday. 
Wow. Got a gigawatt to play with. That is a heck of an improvement. It's not gigawatt. Oh, what is it then? We're using 170 megawatts out of one gigawatt, if I'm reading that right. If you look on top left where the power is, you can see that there were more uh, those uh, machines that make power, not the steam engines. Is it these powerhouses? Yeah. It's calculated based on and a thousand degrees C combustion ratio. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. We only have 52% efficiency. Yeah, so it's sort of half of that then at best. Okay. God, that's, that's not confusing at all, is it? <laughs> Some more of those in there. Relatia plantations. Oh yeah, that's what we were researching last night before I left. Relatia. It's all looking good. Huh. Tar extractor looks cool. Glad someone else knows what to research because I wouldn't have a bleeding clue. What's that styrene, uh, the fluidized bed reactor you're at, Kev? Miss, not it's supposed to put. Oh, there you go. Uh, I think it is working. The styrene's coming out very slowly now, isn't it? Yeah, we're limited by benzene at the moment. Benzene. Ah, there it is, benzene comes out of... Yeah, maybe I need to rethink... Wait, the why, is the, why is the benzene Excellent. going to the burner? No, it's the water on the opposite side. That's the benzene output, isn't it, going to the... It's the water from the fluid separator below. Where you go, you got steam coming out, water going in and out, but benzene goes in. Uh, the tailings just get turned into benzene and aerobics, and the water gets boiled. But if that factory's, I'm just gonna get my head around. If that factory's making benzene, is that right? You all made factory. Benzene and aerobics, yes. Oh wait, is it unloading benzene into it? Ah, hang on, hang on, I see now. I thought that was making the benzene there, but it's not, it's been delivered by barrel, isn't it? Right, I'm thinking about just shutting off max light production for now. And actually, I'm going to do a paint trick. Okay. 
get robots to reconnect it if I want. Well, that's that's what I was thinking, Akram. I'm just trying to look at the the connection to it, and it looks it, to me it looks like the benzene is going into the oil burner. It is. But don't we need that for the styrene that it's also attached to? Yeah, it's usually we're overflowing with benzene in my experience. Yeah, it so. seems to be struggling, doesn't it? I'm gonna try that. Yeah, change that over to normal just burners. Take out one of the pipes, just let the benzene go through to the fluidized beds for a second, see if that works. That goes in that way. Oh, it's not going to the top one yet, the top one's not connected. The bottom one's connected, the top one's missing a pipe. Oh, yeah, cool. Good at what, what I do, you know? <laughs> I think I've seen that pipe just magically appear by robot. Tyrene's kind of going a little bit now, that's good. We're not wanting for rubber though, which is good. Wow, that's a cool animation on the old heavy oil refinery, wow. See you a bit. Take care. <clears throat> we'll hopefully catch you again um, during this week. Don't know what night I'll stream on next. I, I don't want to miss too much. I'm trying to stream as much as I can. I feel like if I miss a, have a night off, I'll end up missing a load of builds. Can't type. That quiz is on having the same dilemma I did. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, where do you start? <laughs> is it okay if I increase the Farogi production? Please. <laughs> yes, anything I build, feel free to rip it up and move it and expand it because I am a spaghetti person. I am not a robot. <laughs> I think at this point it's a case of just keeping it as close as we can and then just trying to get a rocket to launch. That's just the, obviously the end goal, but... Just set everything up to be a non-zero income and then let y'all figure out how to expand it. <laughs> They need so are those. Oh, okay. They're taking like Farogi seeds, I guess they'd be called. That makes sense. Farogi spores. Okay, that was close. That was close. So, where are. So no sweet. 
looking for the seed thing now. Copper and iron was reduced because of the rocks. Oh, I see. But it got backed up by the look of it. That's a good spot. Definitely. That's kind of the problem I have with robot grids. Like, there's no way to set up priority. Like, I'd rather use rocks that come from mining than, or rocks that come from processing ores than from mining. There's, yeah, I don't know of any way of doing. It, it just seems to be the problem, doesn't it? Like, we're making circuit boards, but it's like, right, where are they going to as priority? Well, actually, they're kind of going to everywhere at the minute. I guess that's the problem. If everything's priority, nothing's priority. Chassis, that's fine. Let's help that along a little bit. I can build two of your Kikalk plantations, uh, Chase, if need be. Uh, what plantation? I want to call them Kikalk. Is it Kikalk or is it Malaysia? What's that? I don't know what it is in the actual um, material list. They look the same to me. Are they flowers? Oh no, it's, or are they oh, no it's, it's the fl it's flowers, isn't it? It's the flowers things, yeah. Yeah, the flowers plantations. That's what I mean. Yeah, I can build two of those for you. I'm guessing we could probably set them here. Good evening, guys. Hey, good welcome, evening. Welcome. Um, I was just wondering, did, did anyone uh, look at new recipes for the um, iron and copper? Because I don't know if we uh, unlocked any other recipes that would be more efficient. Because I have the feeling that the more efficient we can be, the least we're going to go through patches. <laughs> like we did at the beginning, we were going through <laughs> patches way too quick. I know we're a bit better now, but I was just wondering if there was any other recipes that we could use. For... There's a lot that we can unlock now uh, that will be much better. Uh, yeah, we could we could go for iron and copper. Um, oh, let me look at some of the. Other things. Not that I, not, not that I think we need it per se. It's just that it's more of a question of being efficient, and so we don't have to expand. Like, all across the map. I am pretty sure we'll have to do at some point. I was just wondering. Ten iron ore made out of fifty blood. What? <laughs> we should we should be pushing for steel production. That is one thing that we could do. Uh, we oh, could get that. I can. Again. I can start with that. Yeah, we have got a little bit of steel on the map, haven't we? But not a lot. Are there, we can... are there a better recipe than what's in the um, advanced foundry? 
or that should be done in the advanced foundry? Uh, so once we get the iron processing too, they will be done in casting units like um, okay, copper like the right. copper. Okay, which makes sense. We'll also have th access to fancy things like making pipes out of molten and whatnot. Right, two of your Fawogi plantations are on the way. I'll try and build a few more as I go. I have to set them up in the um, mall. They're just missing a few bits and bobs before they get going. In fact, I can probably make that a fast inserter. That's better. Automation. Excellent. All right, can put some wood in there. Just missing pipes. Oh, I've got any pipes on me. Lovely. Got a hundred wood at a time to make one. Wow. Okay. Okay. They should have a few on the way now, it's going slowly but surely. I have to manually feed it a few bits to make it quicker, but... God, how many have you built, Chase? Jeez. <laughs> that, went from, that went from like eight to... They, pro <laughs> they produce slowly, so might as well have more, because we need it for the... I think it's the org food? That's true, that was our... We were look, when I was looking at the production chain... That half hour of checking I did. <laughs> that seemed to be one of the, the key points. Well, these are on the way now, so you should find you get them filled in quite quickly. Thank you. Tin cable. If in doubt, do it old school. Oh, oh lovely. Uh, what's that achievement called where you know a lot of handcuffed? Lazy bastard. <laughs> Lazy bastard. Imagine, imagine trying to do that with this. Oh. Yeah, it's not physically possible, I don't think, unless the achievement was set to, like, uh, handcraft less than one million items to unlock. Yeah. That might actually do it. Because you don't get um, uh, assembling machines told you get red signs. Yeah. So you, you really, to be fair, you can't even um, automate the stuff for all the stuff in the mall. So because you've got to craft those yeah. simple circuits, I mean, I've crafted probably over a thousand now in the space of like two evenings if you ever have free time in your evening just just sit and craft pull out by and, and figure out how many circuit ones you need to automate circuit ones <laughs> I'm going to need a really big sheet of paper and a calculator for that I 
I get a feeling it's that one of those numbers that runs into the millions. <laughs> For. I'm looking for those. What are those buildings? I'm looking for the fungus building. That fort, fort, four guy. It's got to be called that, surely. Let's have a look. There it is. So that, that's a new one I can do. Two of those. I've got your two spore collectors on the way as well. Out of the three needed. I can't do anything about the um, four guy things because they're um, like a recipe of some sort. I can't seem to build those. You need to build them inside something. I think that comes from your stuff, doesn't it? From the actual plantation, yeah, you can build it out of the plantation. So yeah. you're on your own with those ones. Placed in a sec. There you go. Spore collectors are good. Thank you. Where do your plantations output to? Have you not? I oh, put the output I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> put the mushrooms into the. <clears throat> uh, you know they make them. That's right, I did wonder. I did for a second, I thought, hmm, there's no output, but yeah, you need to fill them up with their own mushrooms, don't you, so they can make more at a time. That's right. Yeah, they're taking care of themselves, actually, that's fine. That's, that's all good. Alright, how Are is... you requesting all the foe I think Chase is at the minute <laughs> to set up his new farm. No, I'm not requesting any. I wonder where it's all going. Not guilty. <laughs> is it all going over? It looks like it's all flying. Ah, oh, what's this? Oh, oh yeah. Maybe it's just so slow that. I'm going to watch where the bots come. Okay, the bots are taking it this way. Oh, are they automatically... They're taking it to the food, to be fair. They just went over to the food by itself. I think the food's working a little bit faster now. It seems to be. Yeah, it is literally just those fogies that are holding that food up. Once that food's going, that's the orgs all sorted. I'm gonna have to run some math. I need to figure out if it's worth it to use manure or not. <laughs> We're currently using it on. Is that being used? Okay, is that being used on the fogies? Yeah. I was using it to get the modules, but I don't know if it's worth it or not. I 
some more bits to my... I see what you mean about needing a bigger logistic bar now, as I'm adding more stuff to mine and thinking, hmm, there's really not enough space. the old Fuogi setup so I can put more spore connectors down. Yeah, go for it. But bear in mind if it breaks it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't have the no. uh, Fuogi for a little bit until our No pressure, setup. no pressure. <laughs> Yeah, probably just better just a knife piece shit. Excellent, I think I'm getting everything I need to build. A few more bits for you. Is that stuff? Is that not plastic? No, nope, it looks different to plastic. God, that's so much stuff. Ah, it's that melamine. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, we got done. Okay, that's not good. I was looking at that earlier. Cyanic acid. Cyanic acid. It's from there. Okay, where's that? That's just a book. Let's have a look at that. That's missing something. Let's see if I can't help fix one of these things. Oh, some of these factories are so noisy. <laughs> yeah, don't stand next to uh, the seaweed plantation with headphones on. Yeah, I, I, I made that mistake yesterday. I was thinking, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Deafen you. Are they the ones that do the squeaky noise? No, they're, they emit a very low pitched rumble. See, it's over here yeah. somewhere, seaweed. Yeah, yeah I put down my. Um, it's like a very disconcerting base. Right, so this is missing urea. Ah, oh, it's the same problem as before, isn't it? Urea was what we chased down earlier. So that is. I think we're going to need a lot more odds. <laughs> well, I am trying to build some uh, creature chambers, but not getting anywhere yet. Yeah, there's no plastic either. Plastic seems to have run out. Where's plastic being made? Ah, is that down here? Huh? Is that not plastic? No, it's not. Oh. Is 
that plastic there. Yes, okay, I found plastic. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's the same problem. Urea is the problem in a lot of places that are waiting for it. comes from... where do we find that earlier? They're being produced by the Augs from an error, but the, uh, the urea is actually created by the two bioreactors that are in the genetics block. Urea, urea, urea. Aha, there it is, yep. Yep, so that's waiting for the manure, isn't it? Of course, to make liquid manure, that's it. That was where it comes from, yep. But it's, yeah, it's a lack of manure, so that is the next bottleneck. So if I can get these creature chambers made, made some more paddocks, okay. Cool. Sweet. Should be much better now. Uh, guys, I just wanna, I just wonder, uh, should I get into uh, the steel production, or I should be doing something else to be more helpful? That is a good question. Where's the steel production? <laughs> steel so production. What kind of production? Is it well, just I was. These little things are there? Okay, because I know we're doing copper processing too, so I would imagine that would make copper production more efficient, probably. Let's see. Mm. Not sure. Well, I think there's an issue with the iron over here. It's not producing at full capacity because the stone is getting backed up. Uh, yeah, you're right. I thought I had fixed this, but... Yeah, it's still struggling, isn't it? Not. <clears throat> um, let's do this. And actually, I'll I'll, fi I'll fix the the stone there. But so you're saying, guys, uh, I guess steel would be an alternative. Yes, iron processing, go for that. And if you're feeling ambitious, you can take a stab towards uh, stainless. Stainless. <laughs> what does uh, what does that do? <laughs> the the world of pie. Oh, we've got. We've, um, uh, I've had some a tip in um, stream chat. We've got six machines making the printed circuit substrate, and we he reckons it's at least thirty org paddocks to supply enough manure for that. So yeah, you're right, oh, wow. Kev. We're way off the mark if that's the case. Okay, so, so stainless. It would be stainless steel, right? Yeah, stainless steel. It will get us access to all of the things that need advanced small parts, which is things like assembly machine twos, which are really only helpful for unloading liquids. Uh, oh wow, but it and needs it will, so many resources. It is an ambitious project. <laughs> oh man, I like that. When I get back, I might, because I'm probably just going to play like another 30, yeah, another 30 minutes. And then I'll be off, but if I come back and it's not on yet, I will definitely get on that. I'm just gonna add it to the the list of stuff to do. So it looks really like shouldn't be too bad with robots. When you have to do it with belts, it's a real nightmare. I was gonna add it to the to-do list. To be fair, I mean, if that makes it easier. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, if you have still on the to-do list, at least then you know, or well, we know what you're working on. If when we're off and back on, etc. 
I'm currently building some paddocks for you just to try and fill that in as you go. Were they saying for urea that we need tons of stuff? So we've got six oh, machines okay. currently making printed circuit substrate, which I guess is the, yeah. the in-between bit. In fact, we've got more than that. If that's if that's the case, we've actually got. Oh no, it is six. It's these ones, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six making that. And apparently, it le needs at least thirty orc paddocks to supply enough manure to feed those. So I guess yeah, because that will be the thirty. That will so be what's need... needed to get the urea out to get everything else out down the line. Yeah. So three squares of paddock. Three, six, nine. Yeah, at least. Oh, actually, yeah, cause we've got yeah. a couple. Oh, we've got a couple of paddocks somewhere else. I think we have. So yeah, at least another two squares worth. At least you can copy and paste the squares. What was that question? Where's plastic being made? Ah, uh, down uh, south. It's, it's very slow, it's held up by urea. Oh, it's also held up by urea. It all leads back to each other because the org food needs urea. I mean, needs plastic. Wait, are we talking about melamine or are we talking about plastic plastic? Plastic plastic. Oh, am I, am I looking at melamine again? Sorry, I was in the wrong place. It looks uh, the same. <laughs> what, what are we missing on plastic? Yeah, mine's for plastic, plastic. Yeah, plastic is missing um, the same as everything. I think it's urea, was it? Or was it mel no, melanie was missing urea. Plastic, I don't know what plastic's missing. Aromics. Aromatics. And creosote. Tar being a problem. <laughs> That's where you look at one thing, you end up looking at three other things to find out what's going on. I've seen tar. Them. We need to expand tar. I'm gonna say I've only seen one tar machine recently. Yeah, there it is. Tar. Is that just a straight? To be fair, that tar is maxed. So. In order to produce tar, guys, we should probably use stone. Stone. Because we have so much stone. Like stone is like accumulating like crazy. <laughs> so we should be transporting stone and then turning it into tar, I believe is the best method. I'm just saying that as a suggestion. We don't have to, but it's... Uh... That is... Well, we need to export the, co the stone, so... Because right now I'm just gonna... Like we have a bunch in a warehouse at the copper, and we're gonna get it. Also, a bunch into the warehouse and the iron, which I'm currently working on. So, is that stone? Stone, or is it stone bricks? Actual stone ore, I take it. Stone, stone. Ah, cool. stone yeah, yeah, that's stone. Stone, stone, destructive, just to let you know. <laughs> Do we have a recipe for that? I can see tar recipe with coal and coarse fraction. If you look in uh, FNER. So that's in there, so if I put tar in there. So coal and coarse fraction, this one, uh, copper plate and coke. I'm tempted to repurpose this guy. Ah. Stone and water, is that right? Stone and water into basically tar, I guess. Processing. Okay, destructive distillation columns. Well, you know what? I can build a few of those if you need them. Actually, the destructive distillation columns. So, is there any in the mall? I've got, I've got a feeling the mall might have some as well. 
I oh, know it's a different building. Okay, I'll make five for good measure. So if we do you end up using them, they're ready to rock and roll. What on earth? Oh, that screeching off those weird racks is really. That's something out of StarCraft or something. Putting the bots through their paces, Black. <laughs> Sorry? Putting the bots through their paces. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to uh, get rid of the brick setup uh, in <laughs> just, there, and so. I just had to be on the, screen, the map screen and was like, what are the bots doing? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be busy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And notice that we are not gonna miss any uh, power anytime soon with one gigawatt. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's not 100% accurate. To do, it's to do with combustion or something, 100 degrees C, and we haven't got that. So it's about 50% of that, apparently. Oh, wow, okay. So I did the same, I was like, oh, gigawatt, that's lows, but actually, because of the efficiencies and the way it works, we're about 52%, so it's about 520 megawatts, I guess. Okay. But even so, it's still three times what we've got at the minute so we're, we're safe for quite a while I think we've got the paddocks on the way, we're nearly there, we just need two, three more yep, two more needed The only problem is, the only downside again there is uh, orc food, I suppose, isn't it? Because it's all it all links. Ah, oh, it's even less, about 25 to 30 percent of the power. I suppose we'll know when it's a problem when it starts going <laughs> up and down all the while, like it was doing the other night. That was fun. <laughs> All right, let's get that one in the network. Can I build another one? Yeah. That's the last one. That'll be the paddocks that we currently got built. Do you want me to expand the paddocks, Kev? While you're down doing that. Yeah, go for it. So you've got the one I've just got to copy and paste it, so it's, <laughs> it's something I can do. Yay! <laughs> i just take a copy of that and put it along here. What's in the way? Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's see what you did that. i just remove... There's two. Oh, I need to do all of those down that side, don't I? There we go. There we go, that's 369. 3 times 9 is 27, plus the couple we had, so there should be around about 30 paddocks there once that's all done. Um, Kevin? Yeah, how can I help? <clears throat> Alright, ne never mind, never mind. I was gonna say, uh, wouldn't it be better to use active provider chest, but you just put one down, so that's fine. <laughs> that's right, I'm providing those if you need them. Slowly there. learning my lesson, you know? Just put a load of those in the network for you, so they should fill up as you go. There you go, all gone. Oh, 
We'll keep making these paddocks. That should fill those out. Hey, we've got orcs in the paddocks. Yeah. You're still not really making enough of car though. I think Kev's working on that now with that um, destructive distillation setup. Tailings, let's see. Does anyone want tailings for any <laughs> What's tailings useful? Uh, we have Nexalite, or we could try to get more uh, benzene and aromics out of it. That would be good. There's something missing those that I'd seen a minute ago. Um, what was it? Plastics was missing it. Yeah, that is true. I Where's that plastic sub gone? Is that it there? Nope. What's plastic look like? Ah, it faces left. Right, okay, that's why I can't. I keep finding melan melamine instead of plastic all the while because it looks similar. It's just the wrong way around. There we go, plastics there. Yeah, aromatics and... Well, it's creosote's the other one, but yeah, aromatics would be quite useful to have, I think. Yeah, again, that's... In fact, that's all, it's all related to tar at the top, actually. Are into Korea, so into aromatics. Although, God, that's not a lot. Just keep making me paddocks and be happy. Oh, the, we must be doing better on the food situation now because all the requesters I've put down have actually got food already, which is a good sign. Yes, the food situation is better. Ah yes, your fawn fawn guy um, solution chase has worked. Okay. We've now got a consistent supply of those in there, so the food is actually being produced consistently. Yeah. This that, is the plastic that's holding that back. Yeah, the plastic. It looked like it was um, holding it up. I've lost the plastic again. Where is it? We can use benzene to create glass. Yeah, the plastic that's coming out is coming off of tar, which is obviously struggling at the moment. Yeah, it's the it's the, actually the same recipe as um, the stairy up there, so uh, ah, we cool. could put it in the <clears throat> same. Where's that? So, I have a question: Should we massively produce? Because for the stainless. And we need tar as well, and it seems that tar is struggling. Uh, my question is, should we mass produce tar, barrel it, and then send it wherever it needs to be? Or we do tar at the location where we are doing stuff. So for example, I need it for 
um, stainless or like part of the stainless process so should I just produce tar for that or not so if you're making stainless you're probably going to be uh, processing ores nearby so you might as well just use the stone coming off of it to produce the tails or the to produce the tar yeah so. yeah that's what i was thinking doing because i i can produce a huge ton of tar from stone and water which then i can um i can do other stuff with that but it since we're accumulating a lot of stone i could do that so that's why i was asking that question or we should just massively produce tar and then burrow it and then send it wherever that's why that was the it's like the <laughs> the dilemma of this mud i guess it's all about uh if you want to reduce logistics of things like i think you get more tar out of stone movement than you do out of barreling okay tar. But yeah makes sense so i'll uh, i'll do a, i'll use a cell around I'll use a cell. I, I need to look up like all of the resources I need and where I will be doing it, and where it would make sense. But oh. it makes it seems to be making sense to be doing the stainless probably around copper. But it uses so much resources, so I might spread I would, it. A, a I would put stone. it near. Um... Well, I mean, technically, you can still barrel. I think you can barrel molten metal, so I guess it really doesn't matter where you put it. No, exactly, because you just can you can melt the metal, barrel it, and then send it wherever you want, right? Yeah, <laughs> kind of weird, but yeah. Yeah, but because it's called like molten, whatever. So you put it in a barrel, you unbarrel it, and then well, I imagine you have to unbarrel it, but. Yeah. We got the stream. Does anyone know how much capacity our logistics bots have? Oh, I think you can see that on the bonuses, can't you? Logistic. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you. Huh. It must be one then. Um, on stream, we got uh, ESPN74 was asking what we're using stainless steel for this early. And if I'm not mistaken, the answer is we're not using it yet. We're just kind of preparing for when we do need it if memory serves. It's more it's, of a get ahead. It's, yeah, it's one of those goalposts that are ahead. And we have to process all of the metals anyways. hope that answers your question, ESPM. It's one of those things. It's, a, it's like a stretch goal for... So obviously there's several of us building, so we're just trying to work out who can do what, and if we've got that as a goal coming up, we can see what we need before that, which obviously we're working on tar now, because people are a bit of focus as we try and move through the various stages, because obviously, as you're probably aware, there's just that much to do. <laughs> the list keeps growing. I think the other thing to be aware of is that we should probably be aiming for pie science and not blue science. What's the difference? It's it's an in intermediate um, science pack, and it some of the things needed um, gets you into like circuit twos and whatnot. And they're mostly used to increase the productivity of the animals. And whatnot. Okay, the food appears to run out. Going to chase. Just going to double check. Where is it? It's going here. Ah, it's still, it's still going, Chase. It's the plastic that was holding that up. That's producing... To be fair, we could do with more of it, but it's it's working. I don't quite know how you build more of that, because it's quite a big... Um, it's quite a big build, to be fair. What's... Oh, no, that... Is that build not attached to that? Oh, I can never work this out. Yeah, 
yeah, like I said, I wouldn't be there for long, but I wish you a good uh, a good night. I'm uh, food is calling me. So. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by at least. Yeah. We shall catch you probably tomorrow evening if all goes well. I'm sure we'll be uh, on. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably be playing tomorrow evening and Tuesday. So we'll see. Cool. Take care, mate. Yeah. Take care. Ah, that's not good. How was that getting fuel in there? Oh, okay. Now that makes no sense. That boiler. Okay. That's about to run out of steam because that hasn't got an input, so I think this needs. Okay. What is the best fuel to use? And this, I'm just looking at the um, org food and the boiler that provides the steam to the factory is dead. It's about to, it's got no fuel, so it's not going to produce any steam shortly. It's going to run out. What's the best fuel to request for that? Does it matter what fuel you use for it, or? I would use, uh, so we currently have lots of coal dust in the system and we have a lot of crushed coal. Okay, so if I tell this, let's see, I've got to find it now. Ooh, I would do coal dust because technically we just got green science, so we should be processing our, process, our crushed coal into real coal. Cool, let's see, yep, that's uh, requesting already, yeah, 52,000 available, that's perfect, that's more than enough to, to power this. So we just need a secondary crusher and a automated screener. So we can get rid of all of our crush coal. <laughs> um, Corbin, I think you used the wrong recipe for the org paddle. I just copied and pasted it to be perfectly honest. <laughs> making the cage dogs. And we need the one that produces manure, I think. Is that not what's being produced down the bottom in the... Creature? Oh yeah. Or is that just I, the... I was making more cage dogs, not... Yeah. But we should be making... Manure. Manure. Yeah, so should I change these ones over here? Can you make another square for breeding? And then, yeah, you can change them all over. I'll keep making some paddocks then just to fill it out as you do them. I was looking at making another fuel one as well, but I don't know. I'm trying to work out what I need. I think it's only this part of the setup I need. In fact, oh, I think I've got a, I think I've got a cunning plan. Oh, pipes in the way. Of course, it's in the way. That's that. Let's see if I can get this to work. That's going to be in the way as well, like that. Okay. So then that, in theory, just needs.
Hang on a minute, what was... What on earth happened? Oh, okay. No. Oh, I see the boiler was using something else for fuel, but it ran out. Okay, right. I, I think I figured that out now what was going on there. That long hands into there, that's fine. So we'll just do a. Normal inserter into there. Ha! <laughs> I've just doubled our food production. <laughs> Okay, so moss is the only issue again. So where was that moss farm? Is that carbon dioxide and water? Oh, we've got a bajillion moss stored up, so that shouldn't really be an issue. Is it a robot issue now? Nope. Oh no, here they come. Okay, that's just up. Yep, yeah. yeah, food is now... Well, in fact, I can... I think I can make the food even better. Now we've got all the four guy, the moss, the plastic, and the seaweed going. That's all that's required, and the steam's coming from this. So I think I can actually... I think I can be useful. <laughs> okay, if that works, I've just tripled it. Still missing, yeah. I'll keep making a few paddocks then, seems to have up to. Still needing 13 of them. Ah, I see you've changed all to manure now, brilliant. That should help then, obviously, me making more food down here, that should help keep them fed to produce more manure as they eat more, then, in theory. What module can you put inside the automated factories to make them sort of work better? To make this food? Obviously, I see there's a module slot, but. Only normal modules. Which. Good luck. Oh, as in proper module like speed production and efficiency, but. We're gonna need advanced circuits for that. Ah, okay. Uh, I can't yeah. tell you when that's gonna happen. So let's see if I was going to go for productivity module, simple circuit and complex circuit. Yeah, okay. They're, so they're quite simple in that respect, but you need everything behind the complex circuit board. Then I guess. I mean, technically, the recipe hasn't changed. It's still five green circuits and five uh, red circuits. But making those is a lot more complex now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, the food is definitely increased now. I've increased it to three times. I think I can fit one more in if all goes well. Yep, there we go. So as long as the mushrooms, the moss and the plastic keep up now, we should be around. It looks like they are for now. Steam's just about holding off of one. Yep. Oh, I think 
like it's starting to struggle on the old steam front. Okay, let's see if I can fix this a little bit. Alright, I think I think car and all that's good. Where are we at? <laughs> I forgot what I was doing before. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to fix this steam output to these things I've just moved, so I'm just going to take them offline for a sec. How's that going to fit? Let's see. <laughs> the list grows. get fuel into these now, don't I? Ugh. Okay, fuel will go in there. This one just needs to have hmm. Oh yeah. Now that is what I call spaghetti, but hopefully that will work. Okay, food. Well, food's not being requested anymore, but look at it. I'm making it now, but it's not being requested. Is it worth limiting the food to one stack, or do we need just need to keep it going? Uh, what is the stack size of the food? That I do not know. <laughs> Is there an easy way of telling that? Where are the caged birds going? Slaughterhouse. Kind of need them to pull Yeah, I think I've managed to solve the food problem now and I've solved the steam issue 
as well, providing it. So that is now going full pelt. So we've now got four food providers up here. Woohoo! I built something useful! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what size, what stack sizes are though. I haven't got a clue. This one stack's already up to 39, so I'll see how high it goes. If it goes to like 100, I'll just cap it at one. I mean, it's already going to hit 50 minimum. So going by that, you'd have at least 200 buffered up with one stack slot. Would it be a big issue if I stopped the slaughterhouses for a bit? Because I'm looking up other paddocks. It just it just paused the science, it's fine. Is that okay? Uh, I mean we're just going through stuff that we'll need eventually. We're not doing anything. So plastic has been swapped over to using styrene, so yeah. Ah, that explains why I'm getting a lot more plastic delivered now then, because that's coming out much faster. Just spent all that work getting a Romex and then just completely nullified. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm going to limit these to one stack because they're easily going to hit 100 minimum so there's no point having four, more than 400 at the minute I'd say. Yep, that's 80, that is going really well. Oh, I'm really pleased with that, that's actually it's a very very simple build but I'm happy that I've got to build something that's actually useful. <laughs> yeah, that's worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Excellent. On the plus side, I'm now using double the amount of raw um, coal dust now as I was before, so that should help get rid of a bit of that at least. Oh Chase, are you still requesting uh, uncaged dogs? Uh, I'm requesting caged dogs. Uh, request uh, uncaged dogs. Yeah, you need like a hundred, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got like ninety-four on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> How's this substrate stuff going on? Are we actually building? Yeah, we still can't build it quick enough down there. Oh no, I haven't said that. There's... Huh. Okay. What are you guys... I think they're missing something else now. I'm going back down for a look. Looks like we solved the initial problem of the um, simple circuits, but something else is holding them up now. I don't know how squares to make a mess in. <laughs> Whereabouts are you building? I might have chucked them more. Yep, 
Yeah, you might have to build outwards now. <laughs> Start working on the squares out, out to the right somewhere or to the left. Such a long run. I assume Kai and Kai just kind of went AFK earlier today and just stayed on the server. <laughs> He's still sat down here. I'm just building around him. <laughs> The um, passive chests down on these org paddocks, I'm guessing, need to be active because the manure and the barrels are going to back up otherwise, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Obviously, passive, and I can just see the barrels filling up, which means at some point they're just going to end up being a problem, aren't they? Yep, actives. Yep. Yeah, plastic actives on those. One. Two, three. There we go, that's better. Right, I think I can build some more useful stuff now. Yep, there we go. Can't build those yet, never mind. Old chip shooters at last time. Excellent. Right, what are we missing down here? So it's come to see. Something's missing from. Air core inductors. They were up at the mall, weren't they? Yep, air conductors, we're missing whatever that cable stuff is. That stuff. Oh, it's copper. Oh, there's not enough copper getting into the the very first assembly machine. To make copper cable. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going to head out, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. No worries, Chase. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it'll be more see you tomorrow. Oh, it's just not enough being produced. I just need to need to copy it, I suppose. I've got a plan. Let's do that. We've got loads of copper plate somewhere, I'm not going mad, there should be yeah, 7.7k, so there's abundance of those, so it's not a a plate issue where is the cop? ah, there it is, right, let's have a look Ah, does the copper need expanding? Looking at the 
the build, we're obviously using a 4 to 4 balancer, we're using two lanes to get what we're getting out. Is it then worth putting the same again next to it? Or is that, no, it's not going to be enough, is it? No, I don't mind. It's I'm not sorry, gonna where? The copper, um, just here. It's not going to be enough, though, is it? There's not enough to feed. It's just backing up on the, the 4x4 balancer. Uh, is it worth adding another set of copper casting units? No, it might be worth an upgrade, but it's not... Gonna spend all that time, you might as well make it better, right? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Looking at it, it's like, yeah, it's, it, it, it needs to be better, doesn't it, really, rather than just more. So, how come we're not using. Yeah, would that not be. Hot bricks not be better? What's that taking in? Is that that is copper ore? Yeah, copper plate. Yeah. There's some recipes. Right, I'm just gonna have to try to break my, my computer for a moment. <laughs> ah, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that's a really rubbish recipe, isn't it? That's why. What is what's going on? So it's using the um, the sort of copper to get copper plate. Five copper gets two copper plate. But yeah, looking at other recipes, you can put in copper ore and hot air and get six copper plate. Low grade copper. Oh yeah, that's rubbish. Oh, if you get borax with oh my goodness, wow, yeah, sixty copper plate with borax, sand casting, and molten copper. But I bet that's yeah, molten copper. Well, oh, no, we can make basic oxygen furnaces, so there is okay. You know, when you start looking at something and think, oh god, right. <laughs> Can we even mine borax yet? Borax. Raw borax with syngas. Syngas. Natural gas, okay. <laughs> Natural gas. Next slide, they need nickel. Oh my goodness, yeah, so it is a rabbit hole of stuff to build, unfortunately. Keep building what I'm good at. <laughs> Stuff in the build list. It's not too much of a difference between uh, the hot air and the the one that we're currently running for copper. Um, if we step up to what we can currently build, we'll be doubling. Wait, nope. We will be multiplying our production by five. Which one's that going to be then? Uh, it's a whole long chain for copper, but yeah. Which uh, which recipe is it then? It's the one using on turning uh, what is this grade three into multi. Grade four. Grade four in the molten. Okay, yeah, molten. I see the molten copper. 
So you need to get grade four. Okay. God, I don't make it easy at all. go up to the next iron we're a little less than doubling our iron geez my computer does not like running two pythons at the same time <laughs> how are you running two at the same time yeah I, I have the most up-to-date factorio uh, running my current five map ah, you're Not keeping it going in the background so you can um, keep production going. <laughs> uh, more to reference the spreadsheets of um, Helmod and whatnot. Ah, All okay. the various upgrades of the wars and whatnot. Nearly got these chip shooters built because, to be fair, it looks like we can use them now. We're catching up with some certain buildings. And I'll take a quick look at the air core inductors because that might just be a supply issue at the top somewhere. Yeah, they're going now, they just literally need more. Yeah, there's just not enough um, stuff delivered, so that's just, yeah, okay, I can fix that problem as well, I think. Science. Oh, do you want uh oh, no, it's okay. That's mine, I can build it. Fantastic. That's a my own question there for once. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely this copper cable that's the problem, so I'm gonna upgrade that a little bit. Let's take these two. I think I've increased the piece on that a little bit, that should be alright. Lovely. I feel like I'm starting to just get the hang of the sort of a few of the little bits at least. Some of the bigger recipes are a bit much, but some of these are not. I'm starting to get my head around some of the bits that are required now. The void has started to stare back into you. Sorry. The void, it has started to stare back at you. It has, yes. I, I've stared long and hard, and it is starting to stare back and squarely in the eyes. <laughs> huh, what's going on there with this one?
No, it is connected. Yeah, okay. Any more chip shooters? No, I need some. Oh, I've got some. Yeah. There we go, the old um, air thingies that I've just built are now helping build the circuits. What are they called? Air core inductors. I've just doubled the production on that, so now that's catching up and building more circuits, so that should help immensely. As soon as I put down the electronics factory, that is annoying. There we go. I thought you were just making stuff up. Yeah, the name has changed to air cooled inductors. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, honestly, I do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, they were a bit lacking on the old um, basic circuits, but now we seem to be cooking. So I think it's the same with the other parts on that now as well. I think it's just a case of scaling up now we're getting some work. Where do they go? There we go. Problem solved. Cool. Well, right, well, I think on that happy note, I'm going to have to call it an evening because, again, it's approaching my uh, danger time for baby waking for a bottle, which is always fun. Yep. Yep. You have a good one. Take yep. care. You too. Have fun, fun building, and uh, hopefully I'll come back tomorrow and be even more shocked at what's been built. <laughs> yep. And to everyone else watching the stream, thanks for tuning in. Um, we will catch you all, hopefully, tomorrow. See you later. Cheers.